My name is Kain Tonder Genius and today I'm going to show you how to set up iSCSI virtual disks in Windows Server 2019. I've actually done part of the setup in a visual box and I'm going to show you how to do this. And I set up two systems, Windows Server 2019 and another Windows Server 2019. But the question you might ask is what is iSCSI virtual disk? iSCSI stands for small internet small computer uh, system interface as i explained here in my website meanwhile to get to my website is very easy i uh, the step by step is there in my website so if you type kind on the genius in google it takes you to my website and you can find you can easily find this page now which i'm going to be following in this tutorial so please uh, if you are joining for the first time please subscribe to my channel also like and share and leave me a comment if you have any challenge so as I was saying before, iSCSI is a way to is a way to add some disks on your network, and then computers on the network is gonna see this disk as a local disk to themselves. So basically, what we are saying is that let's take for instance I have this uh, SQL Server one. You can see it's running on the and KTG domain. All of them are in the same domain. So if I go to my computer or uh, yeah to my file system iSCSI disks that are on network will appear here as drives. That is what is going to happen. So I'm going to show you how to configure it uh, step by step. So the first thing we want to do is to choose which computer is going to host these disks that we want to use as iSCSI virtual disk. Now the computer I would like to use to host this disk will be this SQL Server 1. So it means that I'm going to go to SQL Server 1 and add some disks that I would like to use. So to do that, first I'm going to shut down this server. I'm going to shut down this server. I'm going to shut it down and then I'm going to add a virtual disk to this server. So go to settings and go to storage and then simply add, if you click on this place, add, and, and click on create let me just make sure i'm not making a mistake uh here add hard disk fine and click on create virtual hard disk image is fine continue 50 gig is okay and choose so we've added one disk to this computer now if I start this computer at this point, we'll see that this disk will be available, but it's not an iSQZ disk. It's simply a normal disk on the computer. So this disk on the computer, we now use it, configure it as an iSQZ disk. Now, the first thing you'll need to know is two times about, well, this one is starting up. So the two terms you need to know about iSCSI disk is iSCSI target and iSCSI initiator. So let me just go down to the place. So you have iSCSI target and iSCSI initiator. iSCSI target is a computer or the server that hosts or holds these virtual disks or these disks you want to use as iSCSI disks. So what it then means is that this server one that we are working on right now, this SQL Server 1, this computer right here is going to be our iSCSI target. And to make it an iSCSI target, first let's go to make sure that this disk that we added using VirtualBox, let's make sure that we can see it at this point. So if I go to Tools, go to Computer Management, and because if you go to the file system on this computer, you'll see that this disk does not show up just yet, as you can see. So we are going to go to disk management and initialize this disk. So you can see that we have this one, it is not initialized. So I'm going to just right click on it and just click on online and right click again. Sorry, I'm gonna right click on it and say initialize disk and say OK. And then I'm going to right click again and create a simple volume. Say next, next, next. It's going to be drive E and that is fine. So I'm going to close this. So if we go back to our file system, you'll be able to see this disk. You can see drive E. So this drive E hosted on server one is going to serve as our iSCSI 
uh, disk. Now to make this system an iSCSI target, we are going to use, uh, first of all, we are going to install the iSCSI target role. So go to add roles and features, go to add roles and features and go next, go next, go next, and then go to file system and go down and choose iSCSI target server and click on next next so in that way we are going to make this system to be an iSCSI target server that is going to host or hold the iSCSI target disks that is going to be used by computers on the network so this is the first step you are going to take so let's wait for a second okay now i really don't want to pause this i want it to just complete so let's wait for a second All right, so it completes successfully. I'm gonna close. Now this system now is an iSCSI target server. It means that the disk on this system can be used as an iSCSI target disks. But we are not done yet. We are now going to go to file and storage services and go to iSCSI. And we are going to click on to create an iSCSI virtual disk, start the new iSCSI virtual disk wizard. So I'm going to click on it and it's quite uh, straightforward. So it's saying we should select what disk we want to use uh, as an iSCSI virtual disk. So I'm going to use drive E. Remember we added drive E. So I'm going to go next, uh, give it a name. So let me just call it V disk. So you can give it any name, it's fine. Go next. Now I want to use the complete size of this disk, 49.9. .9. Everything can be the same. So now we have this uh, existing target, but normally you go, you are going to click on this uh, iSCSI target and go next. So I'm going to call it, uh, my targets my targets okay so i'm going to click on next and it now says adds or specify iSCSI initiators that will assess this iSCSI virtual disk so i'm going to click on add now this is very important uh it says um enter the value for the selected type so this is where you need to pay attention so you are going to use you are going to use uh, this and the value of the iqn you need to get it from uh, sql server 2 so basically this sql server 2 is going to assess the virtual disk we are creating so if you go to computer management on server 2 you are going to go to, sorry, click on tools and choose iSCSI initiator. And if you go to configuration, you are going to see this. So this is what is called the IQN. So that is what it is asking us at that point. So, uh, so this is it. So I don't know, it doesn't allow me to copy to the clipboard. So basically I'm just going to select it by leaving it in this place. So I'm going to click on OK. So it adds it. OK, so I'm going next and I'm going next. I'm going create. So it creates an iSCSI target server and also creates an iSCSI virtual disk. So I'm going to close. So now if we go to iSCSI, give me one second. Let me just drag this up a little bit. So you can see that we have an, uh, my target here and we have target status not connected. I also have this virtual disk is not connected as well. So to be able to connect, we are going to go to, we are going to go back to this place. Okay. And we are going to go to target 
So it says we should enter the target. So I'm going to try to enter server one and say quick connect. Okay, so you can see that it appears here. So if I click on, if I click on it, so you can say inactive and click on connect and say, okay. So you can see the status now is connected. We go to discovery, this is fine. Favorite target. you can see, okay. So here now you are going to click on auto configure and it's going to display the volume or the drive. So at this point, I'm gonna click on okay. So if we go back to the, the, the server, you can see at this point, if I refresh, it should be able to display connected now. So you can see it says connected. But how do we now see this disk here in server 2? If we go to our file system, we can see that this disk does not show up here just yet. But we can go to computer management. So if I go to server manager and I can go to just click on this and go to tools, computer management. And at this point, we should be able to see in this management, we should be able to see that disk and then we will be able to initialize it. So you can see the disk right here. This is an iSCSI disk right here. So I'm going to right click and just say online. Right click and sorry, right click and initialize disk. Yes. And then create a volume from it. So a simple volume. Uh, next, 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 next. So we've succeeded in creating an iSCSI virtual disk and also making it available to the network. So if we go to our file system on server two, you can see this disk right here. So this is not a local disk, it's an iSCSI disk, but the system now sees it as a local disk. So you can actually repeat the same process for many other disks or connect many other systems to this iSCSI uh, disk you created. Again, you may have to repeat this step by step a number of times. So this is a step by step. You can actually click on this image, it gets larger so that it becomes clearer for you and you proceed from there. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I remain kind on the Tech Pro. And in case you have challenges, let me know in the comment box below. Remember to subscribe and also like and share my videos.